And while parts of Delaware begin to reopen, farmers' markets in the first state will remain closed, despite the fact that they're open in other states like Maryland. WBOC's Cassie Simeon spoke with Delaware farmers who are not happy. Henry Bennett is checking his crops. The peaches have a few months to go, but his blueberry crop will soon be ready to harvest. With Delaware deeming farmers markets non-essential, Bennett's worried he won't be able to sell them. If there's no market to sell, then you can't really, it doesn't make sense to pay someone to go in there to pick them. So somebody's going to be out of a job. Um, we're going to have no income. And uh, as a farm, we have expenses for 12 months and we rely on three months for income. That income now non-existent until farmers markets can reopen. If farmers markets aren't allowed to go open to open, then a lot of farmers, unfortunately, on the Delmarva Peninsula from Delaware selling in Delaware markets um, are going to have tremendous losses and might not be able to make it another generation. Lenore Brady of Stag Run Farms is stuck in the same situation. She's already had to cut some of her harvest at a loss. I've shut down my asparagus field. I have no way of selling it. We are a direct to consumer farm, so I need those farmers markets to uh, sustain the farm. Brady has over 600 tomato plants. She wonders if she should even plant them. We'll have to get other jobs. Our, my kids are going to have to get out of the farming and do something else. This is not there is no way we can sustain this farm without those farmers markets. Planting season is right now, but farmers are having to take a hard look at what they will or will not plant, and you could see the effects later this summer. In Sussex County, Cassie Simeon, WBOC News, Delmarva's News Leader.